Hello, and I'm John Furrier here with theCUBE, your host here at the New York Stock Exchange floor, our new location on the East Coast. We've got all the actions, busy week this week, climate week, UN General Assembly, of course, conversation around innovation, sustainability. And of course, we're always talking about generative AI. We'll see if we can weave that in there. We've got a great guest here, Martin Costa, CFO of Boxable, innovative foldable home concept impacting the housing market. They're in the housing revolution. Martin, thanks for coming on theCUBE here at the NYSC. Thank you for inviting us. So you guys are doing some really innovative things. You're in, there's a housing revolution, there's a huge need. Uh, sustainability is a huge topic this week and just in general, climate change among other things. Uh, you guys are in the middle of it. Explain what you guys do and then we'll dive in. Correct, yeah. Well, the fundamentals be behind the company is that most of the things that you use in life nowadays, they are built in a, an advanced manufacturing facility. The reason is everybody knows is cost, availability, quality, and even sustainability, which is a real important issue nowadays. But your house, your house is built in a very old school type of, uh, you know, approach, which is the the sticks in the field is taking a 18 month in, in in the best case scenario to build a house. So ideally, what we're doing is transitioning the house into a manufacturing. When you do these type of things, uh, you're going to face a, a couple of very big uh, challenges. One of them is the logistics side, right? You cannot ship a house in a cost effective way. It's a very big stuff, right? So we have 80 patents on how to fold our solution in order to have a cost-effective, uh, you know, shipping. And on the top of that, we build houses in a very standard way, very similar to, to a car industry. So that is allowing us to actually come out with a very affordable cost and, and a, a very, um, I would say, flexible solution at the time that you need to have an installation of the home. Give, give a taste um, on to what you guys are doing, scope the opportunity Mm -hmm. um, supply chain, the benefits you guys have. Yeah. Uh, what's the innovation? Clearly, is the shipping. Uh, the shipping is a very important aspect of the of the company because, again, uh, uh, when you're shipping a house, you need to cut the road, you need to clear a ridge, you need an escort, and so on. With our houses, you can put two in a in a truck, and you're good to go. No, no, any additional help. They fall from a twenty by twenty is our studio casita. It goes to twenty by eight, so it's fairly a normal type of a shipping. Uh, on the other hand, it's again, as I said, if you think about the car industry, uh, you know, when you build out something that is a standard, it's, it's very cost effective, very quality effective. So transition the house into the manufacturing facility in a production line with advanced manufacturing will translate in volume, which is what we need now. So a million houses are missing in affordable housing, will translate in cost. Our studio casita, for example, MSRP 60K, and we're translating quality and sustainability. You're the Henry Ford of housing. Something similar. <laughs> Something similar. Well, I mean, this is what we're talking about here. You guys have innovated on the process. Right. So clearly, process improvement, that's a key part of your value proposition. Business model is, you know, a be better product, faster install, build, and lower cost. So you try a better product at lower cost. Right, good business right, model. right. Yeah, it is, it is so, so, it's, it's interesting because if you think about the business model, yes, we have a huge innovation, 80 patents on how to fold the house, but in reality, we're using uh, a technology that exists. You know, we are not coming with something, uh, you know, extremely new. It's like we have other ones, one of them, we have automation, we have all these synergies in another industry. So we're just uh, putting the two things together and going on. I mean, you're going to have a lot of people like, be like, well, my in laws now want to move in. There's no excuse not to have that uh, yeah. ADU in the backyard. Well, actually, actually, we have a kind of an 80,000 <laughs> people that they put yeah. the name in a waiting list now. Uh, yeah, so tell us about the backlogs. Um, yeah. What's the demand like? Give us a taste for the uh, uh, demand and where you guys are at. That's that's an incredible question. It's really good because the reality is a lot of people are thinking, hey, guys, you were around since 2017. We had the first product in 2021. But why your revenue is not kicking off? What, what, what is happening there? The reality is we were approved in Arizona in a modular house permitting only in December 2023. You know, the, the permitting in the U.S. is very fragmented. Everything in the state is different, but even at federal level is different. A lot of houses that you see outside, tiny house, things like that, they are not a real building. It's not something that you can live permanent. So we we're approving in, in Arizona in December. We are now approving California and New Mexico. We are working to be approved in Texas and Nevada very, very shortly. And, and what is happening now is we see the revenue starting to come. So we have 180,000 people that they put the name in a waiting list. We're moving those guys into a pipeline 
our pipeline that we are contacting is our 700, 700 people now, uh, and our revenue is starting to show. So we Q1 was really small because again, we were recently approved, only six units, about 40 contracts in Q2, and now in Q3, we have on Hano Ray like, uh, you know, 80 contracts. So, so you can see the progress is starting. So you guys are, are, are approaching inflection point from a growth standpoint. Absolutely. As CFO, what is that growth strategy? How do you look at it? Is it supply chain management, material management? Obviously you get the process down. And is it the permitting? Is that the bottleneck? What's the, what's yeah. the if, you, if there was a blocker, what would it be? And what are you, you yeah. guys doing to unblock it? Permitting is really fragmented, but to another Detroit, I believe that our government is doing the best that they can in order to have the people living in safe, you know, houses, uh, areas that, that, that they are well, well damaged. It's, it's something that I, I wouldn't complain about that. Certainly, they have a lot of room to improve and make it easier, but, but it's a complex situation because you're talking about where the people is living. I think uh, another block that we have is the last mile when you do the installation, the network that we're building with the contractors that they do the last mile of our business because we're a manufacturing company is something that we're putting a big effort to grow. Yeah. And just the last leg is uh, we are now transitioning, developing new products, new boxes, new houses that they're going to be applicable primarily to the business to business. So DR Horton, for example, is one of our investors. So we are creating a product jointly with them that is going to be very, very applicable for developments. So we see that the volume will come very, very fast on those. As you sit in your boardroom and you guys are making investment decisions, what are the what are the top priorities? So it's capacity. We are trading all the dollars that we're getting into a company against capacity. And obviously a big portion is going into R&D. We are an innovation company, so we, we invest in the future. Uh, you know, the house is only the beginning. There is a lot of products that we are thinking about that they are very related yeah. with like, the house. Yeah, it's a revolution and, and making it easier and again, to stand it up. What are some of the um, um, quick highlights in terms of states where people can buy it? Give us a quick plug for the company. Right, you can go online, you can order your casita. Uh, what is going to happen is uh, we are going to obviously need the, the, the address where you're going to put the casita. We will do a studio, we will give you a preliminary quote on the installation because the casita, what, what it's needing is obviously a foundation, the utilities line uh, close by, so we will quote for that, uh, you know, local work to be done. And if you agree, we will deliver a casita to your So you guys can manage the whole thing turnkey with your suppliers and your partner network? With my partner network, yes, and absolutely. And once you receive the casita, the interesting thing is to unfold it, it takes two hours. So once <laughs> you have the prep land, well, we're going to need a couple of casitas for the queue, build some studios for us, fold it up. You yeah, I love it. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Um, where can people find more information on Boxable and what should they know? What's the big What's the big story? How would you describe uh, the, the ele elevator pitch and how do they buy and get online? Yeah, again, everything is in Boxable.com. It's very easy. It's very intuitive. Uh, you can buy your own casita. If you're a developer, you can actually go into the developer, uh, developer area. You can actually... Uh, proposed to partner with us. We are, you know, very open and we're even considering growing international. So we have a lot of inquiries for international uh, partners that we are. And the company with. status funding. We were very, we were very, very lucky. Honestly, uh, we raised about a hundred million dollars already, primarily through regulation A. Uh, we're now looking, uh, you know, to, to, to move into the next level out of series A. Uh, but 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 honestly, we are right now open. We are receiving investment in, in reggae, so so we're all right. So when you guys go public here, the NYSC, I'll say I knew you when you were just hitting the scene. I not <laughs> comment to that, and you know that, but I need to be quiet. No. <laughs> well, I mean, Martin, I got, I love what you guys are doing. I think it's really a great uh, for society, and also it's great for homeowners um, who are trying to get in versus private equity and build you know, families, and also get leverage out of their value of their property. Absolutely. A big part of getting that leverage. Yeah, yeah it's incredible, honestly. And, and and another thing is I realized too in this journey that, uh, you know, moving people out of poverty without a house is yeah. impossible. And, and, and this solution, I think, is going to play a, a very... I mean, governments could actually say, hey, I want to stand up some housing. That would this be... where the money should go. That would be loud. Feel a big homeless. Final question on products, yeah. Casita, what are some of the mixes? What are you right. seeing? What's the portfolio look like for availability right. or the, the innovative foldable uh, home concept? Yeah, right now we have the, the Casita model, which is a 20 by 20 studio. 
is uh, 361 square feet is coming full, uh, meaning that you have full kitchen, full bathroom, living area, a bedroom area, and we deliver with appliances the house, so it's completely full. Uh, in the incoming, I will say, couple of months, we are going to be releasing new products, which are pretty much bigger, uh, bigger, bigger units. But but then other things are coming. I don't really want to comment about that. <laughs> but the uh, but the future is is bright. We 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 did develop already a uh, new product. It's, it's a matter of now doing the yeah. the prototypes and go. To Mark, market. thank you so much for coming on the Cube. Thank you, Ryan. here at the NYSC. I'm John Furrier, the host of the Cube. Thanks for watching. Thanks.